Welcome to Electron Online. Here we have an interesting application of the coefficient of restitution. We're given that a ball is dropped from a height of 8 feet and it bounces back to a height of 3 feet. If we take that same ball and that same type of surface, but in this case it's a wall, a vertical wall, how fast do we need to throw the ball against the wall at a height of 6 feet in such a way that it bounces back a distance of 15 feet before it hits the ground? Now we're going to do this problem using the imperial units and in the next example we're going to do the same problem using metric units again to show, to show what the difference is between them and to reinforce the concept of coefficient of restitution. So first of all what we can do here is we can figure out how fast the return velocity needs to be in order to, to reach a distance of 15 feet before it hits the ground. So the ball will have a return velocity, so that would be a V final in this direction. And so let's find out what that V final needs to be in order to reach a distance of 15 feet. So for that we need to find time in the air. So time in the air can be found by using the equation y equals y sub naught plus v sub naught in the y direction times time plus one half g t squared. Plug in what we know, final height is 0, initial height is 6, initial velocity in the y direction, that would be 0 because it's hitting the wall in a horizontal direction, and finally we have plus 1 half g, now g is 32 feet per second squared, so half of that would be 16, it needs to be negative, so negative 16 t squared, which means that t is equal to the square root of 6 divided by 16, and let's see what that is equal to. So uh, 6 divided by 16, take the square root of that, which is 0 0.6124. 0 0.6124 seconds. We add a few extra insignificant figures just to make sure we don't have a round off error. All right, now we use the, the equation distance equals velocity times time or velocity equals distance divided by time, so we need to reach a distance of 15 meters, or in this case 15 feet, and in the time of 0.6124 seconds. So we take the inverse of that time, multiply times 15, that means we need to have a speed of 24.5 feet per second. That's the return velocity that we require. Now, what must be the initial velocity? Well, that, that depends on the co the, uh, what we call the coefficient of restitution. So let's use this part of the problem to figure that out. The coefficient of restitution is equal to the velocity final over the velocity initial. And again, using the conversion from potential to kinetic energy, potential energy equals kinetic energy. So potential energy at this point equals the kinetic energy down there, or mgh equals one half mv squared, the m's cancel out, and v equals the square root of 2gh. So the velocity final is the velocity going back up, that is equal to the square root of 2g times 3, h being 3, and the velocity initially coming from a height of 8 feet, that would be the square root of 2g times 8, so the height that it bounces back up to is 3 feet, and the height that it came from is 8 feet. So basically it becomes the square root of 3 eighths, 3 divided by 8, take the square root, and it is, the coefficient restitution is equal to 0 0.6124. Oh, I think I've seen this number before. Look at that, that was the time. Kind of a coincidence, isn't it? Or is it really coincidence? Well, we'll find out. So now that we have the coefficient restitution, we can employ that same equation for that situation over here. So we know that V initial, if we solve this equation for V initial, that is equal to V final divided by the coefficient of restitution. So V final is the V final that we need, which we calculated right here. So that would be V final, which is 24.5 feet per second. And we have to divide that by Let's put the units in, divided by the coefficient restitution, which is 0 0.6124. Take the inverse of that, times 24.5, and we end up with V initial required is equal to 40 feet per second in order that the ball would bounce back with sufficient velocity 
24.5 feet per second so that it'll bounce back 15 feet before it reaches the ground. And that is how the coefficient restitution is used to solve this particular problem. That's how it's done.